When you think about a disease outbreak, you probably imagine infection numbers in the thousands. But recently, Kenya declared an outbreak of yellow fever after just 15 confirmed cases and three deaths in Isiola County. Following the announcement, Kenya immediately put all counties on high alert and its neighbor Tanzania launched a vaccination drive. So why were the 15 cases sufficient to be declared an outbreak? And why did it cause an alarm across the region? Well, first you'd have to understand the disease. Yellow fever is a viral disease that is spread through a mosquito bite and whose symptoms may be confused for other viral infections. They include fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and weakness. But if the disease progresses to the severe phase, its most recognizable symptom is jaundice, which is the yellowing of skin caused by damage to the liver, and this explains where it got its name from. Being a viral disease, it has no cure, and its case fatality rate is anything between 15% and 50%, according to the World Health Organization. That means up to a half of those who get infected are likely to die from the disease. WHO defines a yellow fever outbreak as just one confirmed case among the unvaccinated. So now you understand why the government had to declare it an outbreak. Yellow fever is one of those old diseases that haven't been eradicated. By the 1600s, the disease was present in Africa, and thanks to slave trade, it spread to Europe and America. One of the worst recorded outbreaks was in the year 1793 in Philadelphia, the 10 US capital, where about 5,000 people died. This was 10% of the city's residents at the time. And while the rest of the world has been able to eradicate the disease through mosquito control and vaccination programs, it's still active in the tropical regions of South America and Africa. In 2013, WHO estimated that there were 84,000 to 170,000 severe cases and 29,000 to 60,000 deaths from yellow fever. One of Africa's latest outbreaks was in 2016, where 421 people died out of 1,221 infected across Uganda, DRC, Angola, and Kenya. Vaccination remains the most important measure to control the virus, according to the WHO, alongside mosquito control measures. This is why many countries currently require you to be vaccinated before you can travel to or from these disease-prone countries. But vaccination coverage in Africa is still low, as of 2020, routine vaccination coverage was only 44% across the continent, much lower than the 80% required to confer herd immunity. WHO estimates that only 7% of Kenyans have been vaccinated against yellow fever.